Hey everybody, Clarkside here. Welcome back to Destiny. Here I am being all MLG Pro-like and hiding behind a box. We are in the Cerberus V3 strike. It is that time of the week. It is the Nightfall loot drop video. So this week we are here to take down Valister Ark. Bungie have not yet implemented the nerf to his health bar. He's still the Valus that we know and love, or should I say know and hate, because Bungie have said that they are going to be reducing his health bar by about 30%, but they have not implemented that change just yet. I really, really wish they had, because this guy is the king of bullet sponges. Anyway, the modifiers for this uh, Nightfall were Light Switch, uh, Angry, and Juggler. There were no burns, just to make things even worse. In this video, we're going to have kind of a bit of a bumper episode in that it's going to be some Nightfall loot drops, and it is also going to be some Engram unboxings, because I've got some lost time to make up for. Been a bit absent on YouTube again this past week, been dealing with some bad news and YouTube has just had to kind of take uh, a bit of a backseat to things whilst whilst I kind of get my head around some sort of changing situations and uh, some sort of bad things that may happen uh, later down the road. But anyway, we're here to talk about Destiny and for my first loot drop on the Warlock, we have a legendary engram. It is a special engram, and I'm going to be opening that at the end of this video, along with some other engrams that I've been saving up. Moving on next to the Titan, a loot drop video would not be a loot drop video without me getting trolled in some way or another. I got some more Ascendant Shards, as if I really needed any more. Why are these still in the loot table? I'm gonna keep saying that week in, week out, until Bungie change the loot table. Finally, here on my Hunter, I get an Icebreaker. That is one exotic that I really don't mind having multiples of. I've already got two. It's nice to have a third, because now I can have one on each and every one of my three characters. Great job loot table, more of that, less of the Ascendant energies and shards. We are going to go over to the engrams now. Hey guys, we are here in the tower now to see Master Rahul and unbox these engrams. So let's take a look at what I've got here. I've got two primary weapon engrams, I've got the special weapon engram that I've got from the Nightfall, I've got uh, two exotic helmets and a legendary helmet, I've got three chests and one class item. Let's salute the man, or at least give him a bow, because warlocks are just really, really polite like that, and we're going to crack on with this unboxing gonna leave the special weapon for last seeing as that is the nightfall loot drop there okay so here we go chest piece number one uh, got some dust tread three number two plane of no tomorrow that looks like a titan piece uh, some ascendant energies of course got a oh that's a nice looking cloak that is a mighty nice looking cloak I'm gonna have to check that out on my hunter later Exotic number one, Helm of Saint 14. Exotic number two, Aclophage Symbiote. Oh, another Helm of Saint 14 from a legendary engram. That is good. And moving on to the primary weapons now. Got a for the people. A do good of five. And finally, give me something good. Preferably an exotic. A two in the morgue. Let's check out these weapons. Actually, first, just going to see what these stat rolls are like. So I've got a stat roll of 104 there and 123. How does that compare? Um, that that helm there, actually, I think that is better than my present one because I think that maxes out at about 115, 116. So it's marginally better. And for the Acula Phase Symbiote. 127 off the top of my head 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in the teens. It's 116 or something like that. So again, that is marginally better than the one that I've already got. Uh, pretty good haul there so far. Of course, I can't see what this cloak is like. I will check that out very, very shortly. Let's see what these stats are. We've got spray and play. Um, not bad. Not bad. Uh, Grenadier, which is eh, probably one of my least favourite perks. We've got Field Scout, perfect balance and single point sling. Uh, for the scopes, we've got Quick Draw IS, Red Dot ORS1, Focus Lens FLS2. Uh, not the best perks. Um, I guess Perfect Balance is good, Field Scout's good, and Spray and Play, but I would like to have something like Crowd Control there or Glass Half Full. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's check out the For the People. We've got Reactive Reload. Reloading this weapon after a kill grants bonus damage for a short time. That's great. Glass half full. Ooh, this is, this is a bit of a monster. I do like that perk combination. Uh, I think this is a keeper. And then we've got Red Dot ORS, which is one of my favorite scopes in the game. We've got Sure Shot IS and Ranged Lens. FLS3, that is most definitely a keeper. And for the two in the morgue, have a good one, please, please, please. Uh, Rangefinder, that's not bad. Flared Magwell, perfect balance, single point sling, and knee pads. Uh, yeah, two in the morgue. I've seen some beast perks where people get like Rangefinder and Hammer Forged or uh, Hammer Forged Shot Package. Um, I'm just going to keep sharding these two in the mods until I get uh, the one that I absolutely want. Okay, finally, we are here in the tower with my hunter. We're going to pick up this cloak and check out what it looks like on this girl. So, here we go. Please look awesome. Please, please, please. What do we have? Oh, that is mighty fine. I do like that. Wow. I'm just going to check out the flavor text as well because something uh, that awesome has to have some good flavor text. Um, red Eclipse Cloak. Still, we shine. Ah, okay. Short and sweet. Um, that is awesome. I really like that. Where the hell has that come from? Is that like a dead orbit cloak or something? Right, we're going to go over and see the Dead Orbit guy because I kind of feel like I've been doing myself a disservice by not buying this cloak. Okay, so we're over here at the Dead Orbit guy, going to check out these cloaks, see if either of them are the cloak. No, it's not. It's not. That is one cloak for Dead Orbit, which is pretty cool. And the other one is like this. So... At this moment in time, I've got no idea where this cloak comes from, but it's really cool. I like it. It goes with the Dead Orbit colour scheme, and yeah, man, like, it's badass. That is probably my uh, favourite piece of loot from uh, this week. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button, leave me a comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, then click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest Destiny videos. It's been a lot of fun hanging out guys, this is Clarkside, signing out.